Andrew? Hey, how you doing, Mark? How you going? Good to see you, mate. Absolutely. Right. So I'm just here with Andrew from uh, Way My Caravan. <laughs> um, Andrew's actually weighed my van once before, which, which is great. But um, as you know, we're embarking on our big trip up north, so it's important we get our weights right. Um, now with the van and the car set up, we've got a, a GCM of uh, 5.4 tonnes. So um, that's what we need to be under. And obviously had the GVM upgrade on the car as well, which is uh, 2.93 um, tons as well so we need to kind of stay under those limits um, but yeah so Andrew has got all the equipment with him today he'll kind of take us through the process and um, yeah show you how it's done. Opening the uh, digital controller so this connects wirelessly to these scales so we'll get this thing powered up and then we'll put the scales under the front of your car and we'll check your GVM weights. <laughs> so Andrew, I can see you've set up um, a scale under each wheel. Can you maybe just talk us through the process, what's involved, and I guess why it's important to, to do this as well? Okay, so these scales have load cells in them and each one connects wirelessly back to the little box that I have in the car. So I'm going to get you to drive up and we're going to see what your car weighs as compared to your GVM which is 2.9. Yeah, just over that, yep. So yeah, we'll drive up and see how we go. It's very, very simple. Awesome. And worth noting as well, there will be a little bit more weight in the car when we travel, obviously passengers, but I've got it as close to kind of travel weight as, as possible. Okay, Mark's about to drive up. Okay, off you go. Yep, stop. Okay, let's have a look at that. So we go to the digital box and we'll see what the figures are. So your car weighs 2732. That's without you in it, without any passengers. Okay. And you can see your axle weights there, front axle, rear axle. Beautiful. And I'm going to hit weigh and then print. So it will print you out the little docket and then we'll yeah. send you the spreadsheet later as well. Right. Yeah, so that measurement is, is pretty tight, but if you look at my sort of boot here, it is pretty full. So I've got recovery gear, I've got water, I've got all sorts of stuff in there. So there is a bit of flexibility with kind of moving weight around. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll pretty much be... So if you're over the limit, you can move some back to your caravan, maybe, depending on the weight that we, we get for that. So we'll yeah. see how we go. See how we go, yeah. Away the caravan. Alrighty, just pull up under the scales, Mark. Stop. S smidge forward. That's good. Okay, let's have a look and see. So the caravan weight is 2378. And the axle obviously is the same because it's only one axle. Wheel 1, 122, 1225. Wheel 2, wheel two 1156. So Andrew, all done now. So um, we know that there's a, it's a GCM of 5.4 to work with. So how do we sort of fare up? Really good. Okay, so your car came in at 2732, your van 2383, and we put them together, your 5265. We add 150 for passengers. Actually, I think that's included in the 5265. So you're, you're well and truly within the GCM, the gross combined Great. mass of the two vehicles. Yeah, awesome. So, so yeah, with, with passengers, I'm carrying additional 40 litres of water in the van. I've got a bit of extra water and some fuel on board. And we've still got about 135 kilos to, to play with, which, exactly. which, which is good. So um, I was just chatting to Andrew about sort of balancing the vehicle as well. And that's, that's quite important. So I was asking his advice on is it sitting level and... I guess it's a bit of a feel thing, but... Um... Yeah, I think it's a bit of a feel thing. I mean, we, your tow ball is about 200 kilos, and obviously with only one axle, it's gonna have a bit more weight down there. Um, what you don't want is weight at the back that makes the thing sway, but uh, you're well set up and it looks well balanced. And if, if it travels good, yep. that's a good thing. Yep. Yeah. So, um, no, that's great. It's a bit of reassurance going that far, knowing that obviously, um, we're obviously legal, that's the most important thing, but it's safe as well. So, um, thanks, Andrew. And I guess if anyone else wants to reach out and, and get their van weighed, um, sort of what's the steps and cost, etc.? 
Give me a call, waymycaravan.com.au. So basically what we charge is 150 for one vehicle, 200 for two. And normally we recommend you do your car and your caravan together. So you've got your tow vehicle and your van both way, and you know your GCMs and your ATMs and your, the whole bit. So give me a call, yeah. Awesome, thanks, thanks so much, Andrew. Cheers. Thank you. So where are we going, guys? Port Gregory! It's a big drive, it's five hours. Yes! Five hours, yep, so. Yeah, and it's just before Calvary. Just before yeah, Calvary, yeah. Idea. yeah. So we're, we're now on a big trip up north, so we're really, really excited. Um, gonna be on the road now for two weeks. So um, yeah, we'll keep you guys in the loop, but um, first location is, is Port Gregory, which kind of splits up the trip a little bit, so yeah. Still one nighter. drive yeah so this trip's probably I would say what over six months in the making and um, we started thinking about this I think late last year and and Kate and I uh, were, were sort of mapping out where we wanted to go and um, we knew we had about a two-week block of time so um, we're gonna try and see as much of the, the coastline up north as, as possible and um, our final destination will be Exmouth um, we've got so a bit of a mix of um, off-grid locations and, and a couple of caravan parks in there as well. But yeah, it'd be good to take you along the journey. Um, a lot of prep with the van and the car getting ready for it as well. So we had the vehicle um, weighed this week. Um, thankfully, we are all good. Uh, and this is the vehicle at its heaviest. So we've got lots of um, water and fuel on board. So we've got just over 200 kilos of or liters of water. Um, we've also got an extra 30 litres of diesel, so just to make sure for those longer legs that we, um, we're, we're good. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of prep, but really looking forward to it. So uh, we've always wanted to do Exmouth, that's always been on our list, but obviously it's quite far, so you need quite a bit of time off to get there if you want to drive up. Um, we want to do like more off-grid sort of stays, um, you know, that's kind of our style. Um, but we are just doing a couple of caravan parks in between just to top up, you know, power, water, all that sort of thing. Um, and uh, just regarding the places we're going to, so we use wiki camps quite a lot. Uh, so we have a look at, you know, what places there are off grid um, and, you know, what it's got to offer. So that's how we found them all. So, yeah, we'll share those uh, sites uh, on the video. So head, heading up north, we normally stop in the Turing and Bakery. So it's top top shelf uh, pies and pastries and all sorts of stuff if you're up this way. So yeah, fueling up now, and then we've got about how long? Another three hours, I think. No, yeah, so bit of driving. <laughs> play a bit of a game to see who's going to wave back so mainly targeting you know caravans and people towing stuff so we'll try here and we'll see if we get an outcome so oh full hand full hand there so full hand not just a just finger good, so. oh it's another one it's another, another one see what we get. what's your bets i'm going to say a full hand full hand yeah no i think it'll be like one finger so we'll see oh completely ignored no, no. <laughs> wow wow <Fail. laughs> So yeah, normally I find it's either sort of the, the full hand is like, yeah, really, really into it, or they go like sort of maybe two fingers or one finger. So yeah, a bit of fun, <laughs> makes, makes the time pass. Yeah, so let us know below if you're a sort of a full wave sort of person or a one finger or a two finger waver, let us know. <laughs> I normally go all out, so I'll be waving. <laughs> Lehman and we've got about two hours 40 minutes until we get to our destination at Port Gregory so we're probably gonna have a quick stop through Geraldton on the way through as well and fuel up um, but yeah been pretty uneventful drive so far um, stop for some lunch and um, beautiful weather though in Perth we're very fortunate today it's sort of um, winter. yeah it's almost for winter yeah low 20s you know blue skies it's beautiful so um, hopefully this weather continues on the journey so we're just coming out of Geraldton now, and we've got about an hour to go until we get to our night one destination.
yeah, so we're just stopping off at the Pink Lake, which is at Port Gregory. Uh, looks a nice scenic spot, so we might send the drone up to have a look around. <laughs> arrived at Port Gregory for the one-nighter so uh, we're not doing too much setup for this one because we'll be back on the road early in the morning but it's a, it's a good stop gap and obviously seeing the Pink Lake was pretty cool as well very scenic drive coming down um, but we'll be clocking up some kilometers um, tomorrow on our way up to Monkey Mire. Yeah, so it's been a lot of driving today, but I'm glad we made Port Gregory because um, it probably wasn't on our list of destinations to, to visit, but um, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. The drive going down is, is really stunning. Um, we won't get to explore a lot of it um, because we do want to make a mark on our drive tomorrow and on our way up to Monkey Mire. So it's really a stop gap, but as far as stop gaps go, this is a pretty good one. And um, yeah, no complaints with the caravan park as well. It's pretty good. And um, yeah, kids are down on the beach just having a bit of a relax at the moment, building sandcastles. Yeah, it's good. Weather's good as well. Can't complain. Yeah, so Kate's made it easy for us, night one. So we've got some chili con carne with some nachos and cheese. So just for a one-nighter, we didn't want to be messing around with the cooking and cleanup. So this makes it this makes it easy.